Okay, cool. So remember, uh, one thing I just want to mention here, Potato is a young dog, and Potato, typically with young dogs, the parents or the family likes to really be very, very hands-on with the handling and the cuddling and the petting and things like that. So one thing I'm noticing here, when I call Potato away from Sarah, um, it's hard for Potato to come to me. That's typical in the beginning when you practice a certain distraction, but when she gets to Sarah, she just completely loses all focus and just goes into a different state where she wants to immediately lay on her back and crawl into Sarah's lap and, uh, and be like this coddly thing, right? We want to coddle her. So if that's all Potato Potato's life has been previous to now, then um, it will be a little bit more of a challenge to help her through that. Now, it's not bad to hang out on the couch and, you know, have your dog on your lap and enjoy your dog. Yeah, we can definitely do that, but what we also want to practice is the balance to that. We don't want to have our dog only understand that when we're on the couch that they only get to cuddle with us. Um, we also want our dog to understand that, hey, when we're on the couch, we might have you off the couch at times. Not always, but it's good to practice both. That way in the future, if you ever have friends or family over or you're entertaining guests and you want your dog off the couch, it won't be the first time you've asked your dog to not be on the couch. So um, with practicing this, we're helping Potato learn how to come to us or come to me away from a situation where there's a lot of excitement. And as we have success with it, we can help her learn to refrain from going too far into that, that playful state um, when we do need to structure things. Now, don't get me wrong. It's definitely cool to practice exciting times and to hang out and love on our dog and things like that. But again, it's all about balance. We want to be able to, to practice a skill, but then we also want to be able to practice letting our dog hang out and be themselves and get what they want too. If, it, if it's 100% about the dog doing whatever they want whenever they want and there's no real structure or boundary, then we're real light on the side with the skills where the dog knows how to refrain from doing certain things, where the dog knows, where the dog understands uh, boundary and rules and respect and attention and listening to you. It's good to have both. That way we have a lot less limitations with our dog. We can go more places. We can do more things. There is, uh, uh, we, what we're actually doing is li lowering the limitations so we can then grow our options and freedom. Of course, if our dog does 100% of the time what they want to do, then it's really hard to take them places and enjoy them to the fullest. So when our dog learns how to listen like a part of the family, then we can go out and do those things. And uh, that's what we're practicing here today.